This is the Fortress of Staff Diamond, a far northern outpost maintained by a group of dwarves known as the Arrow of Cruxes. Times have been hard for this far north outpost, as they are in a civil war. It has been a long time since any newcomers have come to the fortress, so their numbers are dwindling. The tension is high and mysterious deaths have been occurring. But fortunately for our dwarves, they have one of the most popular taverns in the north. An outpost for every single traveling musician. The music and dancing continues every night. Such tunes played on instruments such as this earthenware nokim can be heard nowhere else but Staff Diamond. The dwarves are hard at work, channeling the aquifer from the southern flats into a large reservoir so that they might build an artificial waterfall going through a second tavern. If nothing else to keep the dwarves calm, stress is our worst enemy, and there is not a lot of dwarves living here. For the first time in many years, the dwarves see caravans coming over the hills. The sheets of ice glisten in the early morning as the dwarven caravan rolls up to the fortress. It comes from a small local government known as the Bulbous Rings. The dwarves are excited to trade and pray that they bring cheeses, for the axe lords have become hungry. However, unfortunately for our dwarves, this would be the last they would see of these friends, for the mountain home of the Arrow of Cruxes was invading the bulbous rings as we speak. War and chaos were to cover this land. But they say stout labor brings sustenance. The dwarven architects have created their power generator using the local aquifer. With the water wheels spinning and the power increasing, the dwarves need nothing but finish the secondary tavern for permanent residents only. In hopes that this would bring some mercenaries, the dwarves gather around their new artificial waterfall with happy glee. The long-term stresses were too much, but any small bit of happiness is welcome for our dwarves. But the time of happiness was short. A werefox has arrived. It is crazed for blood and flesh, and its eyes grow azure. We will know why we fear the night. Luckily enough, in this exact situation, our Axe Lords were perfectly poised to attack. Well, one was, specifically. And they made short work of the Werefox, slicing him clean in half, and the parts sailed off in an arc. The battle was won, but the fortress was doomed. Goblins lurked beyond the hills. And without reinforcements or assistance from neighboring factions, shortly thereafter, Staff Diamond would fall. And that is the story of the Fortress of Staff Diamond. An unfortunate tale, with much bloodshed and violence. Well, not the happiest tale that Dwarf Fortress has told. One thing can always be certain. No matter how a story ends, it will always end in fun.